Please welcome to the stage, RPAG President Nick Della Vidova. Well, after 18 years of following you, Vince, uh, it doesn't get any easier, I'll just say that. And I really appreciate you letting everyone know that I did turn 50 years old. I used to be one of the young guys, and that's no longer. A few uh, more gray hairs and a little less hair, as my wife likes to point out. But my uh, daughter also turned 18, and uh, she's off to college, so that was a very interesting moment for uh, my wife and I to send our first kid away. So, um, you know, when you turn 50 and you send your daughter to college, you know, you start being a little more introspective and you realize that you want to spend as much time as possible doing things that you love. And there is no other place I'd rather be right now, today, but with this group of people that I've frankly grown up in the industry with. So um, with that, it was kind of interesting when we looked at the demographics of our RPG members, um, approximately 30% of our members have been here for over eight years. 45% are been here for less than four years, and 25% are in the middle of that. So if you've been an RPAG member for over eight years, and by the way, this includes sponsor partners, so we're all together when it comes to RPAG. If you've been a part of this for over eight years, please stand up. Now, stay standing. Now, if, you, if this is the first conference that you've ever been to, again, whether you're a member or a partner, please stand. So veterans, take care of the rookies, OK? It's your responsibility. Thank you so much. A lot of growth over the years, a lot of change. But it's been exciting to see how collectively together we've been able to accomplish over 100,000 plans and approximately a trillion dollars of assets under management collectively together. Those are some big numbers. And why are those numbers important? It allows us to reinvest in the technology. Our budget's larger than anyone else in the industry when it comes to creating a better platform for you. And then second, our sponsor partners are giving us more resources and more things to make you uh, different, differentiate yourself versus your peers. So this group together, that togetherness is what creates success for us. And I really, really appreciate everyone that's a part of this. So what I want to do is spend a few moments really talking about the people that have created this great environment for you, and then go over some of the innovations that we've had through technology and investments. And every single year, after we take a 12-hour nap um, after these conferences, because uh, while it's exciting, um, it is a lot to get done in a couple days, um, we always think, gosh, what are we going to do this year? We're going to have nothing to talk about next year. But guess what happens? As, as Vince has really been the leader of showing us to continually get better, evolve, have that resilience and grit, and take chances. Uh, you know, Vince, thanks for sharing the quote of, uh, and I've, I've, I've said this 18 times myself, let's see if I can get it, but from Winston Churchill, I wish I knew that quote uh, 20 years ago, that, um, six, uh, what is it, success is, help me, success is never final, and, fail, and failure is never final, it's the courage to keep moving on. And I frankly, as a parent, wish I had known that as well, because I would say that most of us try to put bubble wrap around our kids, and that's not necessarily going to make them successful. You know what? We need to have courage. We need to try new things. We need to let our kids fail. And by the way, in business, sometimes we do fail. We don't get every prospect. But if we don't get out of our office, we're not going to even know if we can get that prospect. So we encourage you to push yourselves of trying new and different things as it relates to growing your practice and becoming even more successful than you are today. So I've shared this often when we talk about our senior leaders. Uh, obviously, Vince and I um, have a, a very deep connection, but the, that connection goes along with the entire group. And as we've mentioned before in the past, this group's been together for a long time. So Vince, Jamie, and Veronica together for 22 years. 
Then Jeff and I came around an 18 year mark. Joel was, has been here for 16 years. And the baby, Jesse Taylor, who you're gonna be um, hearing from later to provide more detail of what we're doing for you, uh, has been with the team for 12 years. So you can see that the nucleus has been together for a very long time, and we expect to continue to be together for many years to come. But from, those, uh, from Vince creating the, the IKEA furniture 22 years ago, uh, we now have over 150 team members that in some way, shape, or form are helping you grow your business. And it's exciting to see the growth that we've had, where we have people like Maria Saul that's now been with the company for eight years, and she started when she was 12, right, Maria? But the idea is that you're not alone. We're in this together. And uh, I got the opportunity to uh, be a volunteer coach this year, Coach Lil Pop Warner, and we did win yesterday, by the way, 6-0. It was great. Thank you. But what I tell the kids, it's like, okay, I can't give them 82 things to think about. What's one thing that they can take away and feel good? And that is, you got, we got your back. You have your teammates back. And that's what I want to tell you, is that we have your back. We have your back when you're not looking, because we're constantly thinking of ways that we enhance the opportunity for you to grow your business. So from a technology innovative uh, front, there's some things I wanted to share with you on a high level. You're gonna learn more about it over the next couple of days. Jess is gonna share a little more. Um, but plan fees is something we rolled out a couple years ago. It's uh, an instant benchmarking opportunity for you. And it's a dynamic database. What does that mean? The more plans that are benchmarked within the, plan, within the portal, the more data we have to then make the, the, the information even more valuable and accurate. I uh, actually asked Jesse how many of those that have been run in the last 12 months, and we've had over 50,000 retirement plans benchmarked through this system and process. So extraordinary growth over the last couple years when it comes to plan fees. But we're taking it to the next level. We've been working with the Record Keeper Partners to create something called RFP Express. And in essence, for small to mid-sized plans, which we're thinking are gonna be around five to $10 million and under, you're going to be able to get instant quotes. Yes, instantaneous quotes. So by clicking a few buttons, you will be able to get live data and live fees and live quotes for the services offered by the leading record keepers in the industry. We're anticipating rolling this out fourth quarter, and it's going to be one of, frankly, the best solutions that we have offered to you and to the industry. Many of you are in wealth management, and as RPAG grows, frankly, more and more of you are getting into wealth management, and you're realizing that that's the next evolution in your business. So with the, the department, uh, with the regulations that have changed recently, um, we created Rollover Analyzer so that you can use this to document why someone might be rolling their money out of a retirement plan. Um, uh, this is coming out literally any day, um, so it'll be offered to, uh, to the group as well. And by the way, Rollover Analyzer was an example of your feedback. Your feedback was, we need this tool, we want RPAG to create it, and that's ultimately what we did. Um, we rolled out Ask RPAG, again, a dynamic database to allow us to continually serve you in a very quick manner, where we have a database of, of frequently asked questions that continues to grow, and so you can type in that question and see if the answer comes instantaneously. Hey, it's not a replacement to the, the stellar service we deliver. So if the answer, if the question hasn't been answered before, we're obviously going to have that stellar service that we have always with that team of 150 team members serving you. ESG ratings. We've partnered with MSC, MSCI to actually provide ratings on an ESG um, stand, a standpoint for all of the investments that we score in the RPAG system. So you can turn this on or off for your clients. It's going to be your choice if you'd like to share this information. And Jeff Elvander will be sharing more about that tomorrow. There are over 250 other items that Veronica and team wanted me to talk about, but, but we didn't necessarily have the entire, uh, the entire night to do that because I know that uh, we're all wanting to see the sunset and, and have a few cocktails. But here are a couple of the other high level items that you can look forward to either use or be using in the, in the future. And that is client advocacy reports, fund change notice templates that are automatically populated, and then custom models, performance calculations 
are some of the things that we've rolled out to the group. So take advantage of a lot of the different technology ideas and opportunities that we've created. Financial wellness. As we know, we are going, and, and Vince, is fond of, Vince is fond of saying, is we're going where the puck is going, not where it is today. And that's ultimately what financial wellness and well sense is, is that we recognize that while many of us have spent a lot of our focus on the boardroom, it's time to start focusing on the lunchroom to grow our businesses and bring more value. And that's where we created WellSense as a platform for you to be able to deliver and offer a financial wellness solution from yourself and your advisory team. So that's on the technology innovation. Again, Jesse Taylor and team are gonna walk you through more details of that over the next couple of days. I also wanted to uh, share a little bit about what we've been doing on the investment innovation side. FlexPath Strategies, born in 2015, has had steady growth in not just the target date fund arena, but also now in the single box CIT arena. So um, as the end of 2021, we we're at $36 billion of assets growing from zero, zero in 2015. And even with a bad market, we anticipate being over $40 billion by the end of the year because of the solutions we've created and have rolled out to the membership. Uh, the Sway report is a third party report on the, the, uh, on the TDF industry. And thanks to everyone in this room, uh, FlexPath has been the fastest growing, growing TDF over the last three years. We're ranked sixth in new assets from 2019 to 2021 for CIT TDFs. And already we are the 12th largest, and actually the way the article or the way the information was written, uh, the tied for 11th largest TDF provider in our industry. We should approach the top 10 within the next two years, and it will be uh, our goal to, to grow to maybe seven or eight um, over the next few years as well. So again, thank you to this group. It, it's a testament to the distribution power that we've created together. It's a testament, frankly, of taking something that's been around a while and looking at it a little different to bring more value to the participants, more value to you as advisors, more value to the entire industry. So um, it's great to see the growth. Um, we're just getting started. I mean, literally we're seven, eight years into it um, and we anticipate seeing a lot more growth going forward. A lot of that growth has come with the, the partnerships that we've created custom solutions for with Empower, Voya, Nationwide, One America, TIAA, and Fidelity. So it's great to see different versions of FlexPath with different flavors. And we now have over 7,500 retirement plans that have chosen a FlexPass solution as their TDF. It's absolutely extraordinary to see that we started with one client in 2015 to now have over 7,500 clients that have actually chosen. And thank you. The majority of you know and understand that it is a competitive advantage. The majority of you know that it is something that brings an immense amount of value. And that's why we see three quarters of you are actually using some type of FlexPass solution. We rolled out a new website, and the real focus of this website is, is a few fold. Number one, um, it allows you to get access to data instantly on a quarterly basis so that you can go there and find details on the FlexPath information. Obviously, it's also in the portal. Second, again, more and more of you are getting involved with the participants, and we have our participant calculator out there for you to utilize. So it will help the, the participant choose if they should be in the conservative, moderate, or aggressive glide path. And so it's a real uh, a nice new resource for you to offer to, uh, to your FlexPath clients. As we mentioned before, the single box CITs are something that we literally had our first one. We, had, we rolled out two in 2018. Now we're approaching 30 active CITs in the different asset classes. Since I was on stage last year at this time, uh, we've rolled out uh, a large value with MFS, Alliance uh, Bernstein, a large cap growth, PIMCO, small cap value. And what's happening a lot of times with small cap is we're actually running out of capacity, so we go get another great manager. Uh, Capital Group, it's the first time ever that they've offered a CIT to a group of our, of our stature. Western Asset Management, uh, Capital Group, we've created a, a target day solution with them with Voya. 
and then T. Rowe Price um, with their target date solution that everyone has heard through our marketing um, that you now have at an institutional price that uh, candidly most of your peers do not get access to. So in all, as I mentioned, we're approaching 30 active CITs for you to choose from. And on average, the cost savings is 35% off. 35% off what other advisors can get that same strategy for. But as we always are, we're not done. Uh, we're we're going to be rolling out two new ones uh, shortly. American Century uh, Large Cap 4, and then JP Morgan in the large cap value sector that we're working on as we speak. Um, and those should be rolled out uh, anytime. And then we're always looking and asking where else can we bring value. So we anticipate rolling out over the next few uh, months, if not quarters, another small cap growth, uh, a complement to the mid cap growth we have, as well as mid cap value, and potentially a high yield multi sector bond. Many of you have also asked hey, can RPAG create a PEP? Um, and we've actually have. So this is new news. Uh, we've actually created two new PEPs, um, one with Mateger and Power, and then one with uh, Voya and M MPPG. Um, we, are, we already have our uh, retirement plan exchange with Transamerica, as well as my fiduciary path with Empower. So more and more resources and opportunities for you to leverage RPAG and what we built to provide more value to your clients. The FlexPath team is growing, so any of the, the innovation that I just discussed, if you have any questions about it, these are the guys and, and team members, because they're not all guys anymore, by the way. So we have our, our, our original four with Kellen, Matt, Alex, and Jonathan. More and more of them are getting married. Maybe one's expecting a baby. I'll let you choose which one you think that is. We brought on Quinn and Brett last year, and now we um, are now bringing on Ellie Armstrong. Ellie Armstrong comes from uh, a sister company called NFP, and Ellie uh, is used to uh, um, of making four to 500 cold calls a week. So we thought that she would be very valuable in calling all of you to, um, to introduce new solutions uh, to you and, and your team. So we're excited to bring Ellie on. Um, I would say that uh, she's, she's definitely uh, learned already uh, that Winston Churchill quote. So with that, I just again wanted to say thank you, a big thank you for this, to this group to allow us to serve you. Uh, it's been a pleasure for me to do that over the last 18 years. It's crazy for me to say that. It's so invigorating to see the size and scale we've become. And I look forward to be on stage here at the Ritz-Carlton Laguna Beach when FlexPass Strategy reaches $100 billion plus, which seemed like a pipe dream eight years ago, and now it's a reality. It's just a matter of when, not if. So thank you so much, and enjoy the conference.